Hello and welcome to a Mitsubishi Electric Quick Tips video. Today I would like to talk about I.O. addressing on Mitsubishi PLCs. First of all, there's a useful resource available to learn about this on your own in the training section of MEAU.com. Just select Training, Industrial Automation Training, and then Computer Based Training. Here you can find an FX Series PLC e-learning tutorial as well as one for the Q Series. Within the Q Series, if I select basic and then go to contents I can jump into the tutorial in chapter 2 on understanding IO numbers. For L series and Q series everything is organized in hexadecimal format. So for example if I go to the next page here you can see with 16 point IO modules I would have 0 through F in one slot. The next slot would occupy 1 0 to 1 F and the next would occupy 20 to 2F, etc. IO modules come in either 8, 16, 32, or 64 point types. Also with IO, you either have AC inputs or DC inputs. With DC inputs, you either have syncing inputs or sourcing inputs. Also, you have the option of selecting sync source inputs. For outputs, you have relay outputs, triac outputs, or transistor outputs. Now here is an example where you have mixed I.O. types. You have 16 points, 32 points, 64 points, etc. In this case, the address starts at 0, next 10, and then because this is occupying 32 points, the next address instead of 20 becomes 30. An example in the software here is in the I.O. assignment in the parameter settings I have the PLC and then in slot number 0 I have an input module, a QX40. This occupies 16 points and I'm going to set the start XY to 0. Next an intelligent module. Intelligent modules occupy 32 points so you see I've selected 32 points and my start XY is 10. Now, since this is 32 points, my next start XY address must be 30. For FX series, the I.O. is organized a little bit differently. Here you can see in a simulation of an FX PLC, you can see this is an FX 48 MR. In other words, you have 24 inputs and 24 outputs. These are organized in blocks of 8 inputs and 8 outputs. In an FX system, I.O. is organized in an octal format. So you have X0 through X7. X8 and 9 are not used. So the next input then becomes X10, X11, X17. And then again it jumps to X20. This is very important to note in an FX system. For L series, one other point to make is that every L series comes with built-in inputs and outputs. In an L series system, X0 through XF are assigned to the CPU, as well as Y0 through Y7. Y8 through YF are not used, however they are still occupied. So if you do connect an output module onto an L series, the addressing will start after YF. I hope this helps to address any questions that were out there. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.